Just squeaking away here. These old bones, these old bones. <laughs> God. At some point, I will have to deal with this. November 17th, Friday. Just got back from the post office loading dock, dumped off another another dozen books and T-shirts. Um, got a cameo to do. And uh, it's a gorgeous day out. So when I finish uh, this, I'm going to take the pups for a walk. We're supposed to get rain again tomorrow, theoretically. So we'll see how that goes. But um, kind of just... Lots of stuff kind of looming and hanging around and it has to be dealt with. So I'm, I'm going to work on, on all of it. I um, thought I'd play Frankenstein again today. I haven't played here. I love this bass. So I have kind of another Lyle tune here. This is called uh, White Freight Liner. And this is with me and Lyle and Keith Sewell and Luke Bulla. And we're just kind of another kind of a bluegrassy sort of vibe, but I thought it'd be fun to play with this. One of the things I'll do with this one too is I'll put in my magic sponge, kitchen sponge that I am cutting up. And what we, I do is I take it. So this is... Let me show you. It's real, you know, kind of wiry and bright. So what I do with this is I put it a piece in between the G and the D, and I put a piece in between the A and the E, and suddenly it suddenly is like an old P bass with flat wounds kind of vibe on it. So it's really... So let's go ahead and play a tune here and I'll show you how it sounds. It's really a fun tune to play. This was always good live. So here we go. White Fruit Liner. We never recorded it, but I love getting to uh, play it with, uh, with Keith and, and Luke. Uh, for all you folks that run up and down the road uh, like we do, uh, we'll play it for Keith. <laughs> Oh, I pray that I won't you steal away my mind. 
Keith Sewell. Luke Bullock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, so you got, then you pop the sponge out and you got, So that's that white freight liner i love it in in company and um let's see maureen's doing good you know she's sick yesterday i think you know i have a feeling there's a bug going around she talked to her doctor yesterday and there's locally there's been a bug going around and having the physical therapist the occupational therapist nurse all these people coming to the house i have a feeling that she picked up something from them. So uh, she was, was not doing good yesterday. She's feeling better today, but still a little under. But today, right now, she is in the den in the recliner chair with her brace on that Craig Durge gave us. And, um, and the dogs are on their pads next to the chair so she can reach down, you know, and they can sniff her hand and, and know she's still around because it's been really weird. Not She's usually with them all the time. It's been really strange for her and them. So they're enjoying that. And now I'm going to go take the boys out for a spin. And uh, while it's beautiful out like this, and I'm going to come back, I have a song somebody sent me. I've got music to do for somebody here. And then I'll ship that off. And, um, and, then, and then that'll be it. And, and then I'll figure out what to do later with the rest of the day. But right now it's all... Hold on, let me see what's going on. Interesting. It sounded really good, and the co and the plug wasn't all the way in. <laughs> no idea what that is just all about, but uh, but it's nice to be playing this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful instrument. I love I love I love Frankenstein. I also brought out an, another bass I've got. I'll show it to you. There's a friend of mine, Michael De Temple, who's an incredible luthier, and he built me this bass ages ago. And this is really I've been playing this now. And it is an exquisite instrument. This is a, a piece of prehistoric. The nut and, and this little string holder are both from glacial age. And uh, he built this base back in, 20, uh, in, in 12, 2012. And uh, it's a, he's a hell of a, I mean, look at the, the, the flame on this neck on the fingerboard and it continues all the way through the headstock michael de temple check his instruments out they are really something special real simple straight up here stuff but he has a whole way of doing things that is unique to to his instruments so so i've been playing that too i'm just having some fun here with with all these things and can't wait to get you know back to work i've actually it's been hard, you know, just having to say no to everything, um, to be home, taking care of Maureen. But I've got a session on Monday, which I'm looking forward to, because I think I'll be with Kenny Aronoff and um, Jeff Babco and maybe Tim Pierce on it with Dr. Charles Steinberg with Lauren Harriet producing. And it's over here in North Hollywood, so not far away. And I got a friend of my wife's is coming over. A friend of Maureen's is going to come over and hang out with her while I'm at work. And that's... I have one other session to do before the end of the year, and that's it. Everything else I'm doing from home so I can be here as needed. But uh, So that's it for today. I'm going to just wish everybody a great day and a great weekend coming up here. Theoretically, we got rain hitting again tomorrow, and uh, I hope so because the yard loves it, and so does my water bill. <laughs> so we'll see. And then just squeaking away here. So talk to you later, everybody. Bye. Come on.